Me now is Kimberly Crenshaw, Executive Director with the African American Policy Forum. She's also a law professor at Columbia and UCLA, host of the podcast Intersectionality Matters, and she's the one who coined the phrase intersectionality and also co-founded Critical Race Theory. Kimberly, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Your African American Policy Forum is campaigning against these Republican censorship campaigns. So I want to start by asking you to please explain what critical race theory actually is. race theory is the study of law and how it has been part of the infrastructure from slavery to emancipation to segregation to today upon which racial inequalities have been uh, uh, based. Um, it's, it's basically an effort to think about we have had commitments to equality since the 14th Amendment, yet our reach has not um, realized itself in, in real equality. So we're basically just asking questions and looking at the way that law has been um, a, a conduit for racial inequality and therefore what we need to do about law in order to bring us closer to the, the dreams that we have as a society. But let me be clear. This is not about critical race theory. Ted Cruz knows what critical race theory is and isn't. The people who are trying to create this hysteria around critical race theory know what critical race theory is or isn't. What this is, is backlash politics coming precisely at a moment where finally racial justice has become a majoritarian interest on the part of Americans from all races and all classes. So this is a way of pushing back against that without saying that we're for racism. Yes. They can say we're against critical race theory. Yes, well said. And you mentioned Ted Cruz, like you, an alumnus of Harvard Law School. He compared critical race theory to the KKK. What is your response to that, to Senator Cruz, on that specific comparison? Well, you know, it would be laughable if it weren't so dangerous and it, if it weren't so familiar. Yes. This is a mob mentality trying to Willie Hortonize racial justice. And we've seen it before. We saw it right after the end of, of, of the Civil War when the idea that racial equality was anti-white racism was articulated by the President of the United States, uh, President Johnson, who vetoed uh, civil rights, saying that it was reverse discrimination. It, it took away from white people and gave to black people. But that wasn't the last time we saw it. We saw it during the civil rights movement when many white people said equality, being forced to serve you violates my civil rights. So the idea that anti-racism is anti-white is a tried and true uh, playbook uh, move. It used to be part of the neo-nationalist right. It's now moved to the center of the Republican party on the heels of this so-called hysteria around critical race theory. You've written nearly a dozen books on race issues, including one literally called Critical Race Theory. I want to put it in the mail to Ted Cruz's office. There's new polling out this week from The Economist, which found only 26% of Americans say they've heard a lot about critical race theory, with an additional 38% saying they've heard a little. Of those, a little, over half say they have a good idea of what critical race theory is, or they think they do, and the majority view it unfavorably. If you take a look at the number of mentions the term critical race theory is getting over on Fox News, it's gone through the roof in recent months. How much does that worry you? How much does that tell you that this country is not in a good place, especially on the right? Yeah. 
You know, uh, I used to wonder a lot about how um, during the end of Reconstruction, uh, people of color and people of goodwill understood what was happening. Did they know that African Americans were gonna be completely disenfranchised and, and not be able to vote for seven decades? Were they aware that violence was gonna take hold in capitals throughout the South, that there were gonna be coups? Um, uh, did the media uh, participate in it? Were they uh, believing some of the lies or failing to ask the questions, failing to consider the source. And this moment makes me get a sense of what um, what it must have been like. Lies being told, people believing, and people of goodwill being confused and not knowing what to do or what to make of it. See, what they need is for, for those who are for democracy to just be confused about it and then they win. So the point that we have to be about right now is saying, A, what critical race theory is, but more importantly, this is about all of racial justice.